welcome back to Trinidad. I'm Wendy Fitzwilliam, Miss Universe 1998. And now, it's time to find out which of the finalists will become the next Miss Universe. And after, we'll talk to them to find out how they really feel. Second runner-up is Spain! Though she received the highest scores in both the swimsuit and evening gown competitions, Miss Spain has to settle for second runner-up. And only two competitors remain. Miss Philippines, who fell at the presentation show, and Miss Botswana, her nation's if first ever reason, Miss Universe delegate. Tonight, the first runner-up and winner of a cash scholarship from Oscar de la Renta Swimwear is Philippines, the 1999 Miss Universe Botswana. I was excited, I was happy, I was overwhelmed. I was a bit scared. I realized then when they put the contract, what he's actually done, he's actually won in this universe. And therefore, you know, you've got a great responsibility. Who played Kuala Kobe's first responsibility as Miss Universe is to answer some tough questions at the post-pageant press conference. Foremost on many reporters' minds is Miss Guam's sudden withdrawal from the pageant because she was pregnant. I feel that when you enter beauty pageants, you do symbolize women, and women do get pregnant, and they do have children. So therefore, I, I see you being pregnant, not interrupting anything that I do in my life. I thought it's about time the question came, and I answered it, is, you know, the way that I felt, you know, any woman would want a question answered, and, and that is women are very capable people, and they can still succeed, no matter what. The pronunciation of Upale's name is another subject of concern definitely, for the American media. My name in itself is, is a shot of what it should actually be, because Mbule is a shot for Matlali Bula. So if it was full, it would be Matlali Bula. But my mother realized that's a mouthful. And she called me Mbule, and that was short for it. After Miss Universe graciously handles the press, it's time for the coronation ball. And the Trinibagonians sure know how to throw a party. The new Miss Universe, I like her a lot. So I think it was a great choice. I told her, I said, girl, you go for it. I mean, we spoke many times, and she was just, Marvinia, am I going to get the crown? Am I going to get the crown, Marvinia? It's the first time my country is entering into this pageant. I really like, you know, to do this for my country, and she did it. Even the girls who didn't win are left with some very fond memories. Not making it to the final ten, I had gotten a lot closer with Miss USA, Kimberly, because we shared something very special after together, and Miss Venezuela as well. It was sort of, you know, in the running as well. After the coronation ball, Kimberly and Upale jet to their new high-rise apartment in New York City. Right now, I'm living with the new Miss Universe, Upale, who's a very, very nice girl. Um, and the Miss Teen USA, Vanessa Manillo, is here, and she's visiting, and she will be staying here for about two months. So it's like a huge slumber party, or it's like it's back at college, you know. I had two girlfriends here, and we're living together. But for the 19-year-old Miss Universe, who's never been to the United States, let alone New York City, the move is a bit overwhelming. Big. <laughs> well, that's what I thought when I first got here. Manhattan has more people than my whole country combined. I come from a traditional country where you only leave home when you get married. So even if I was, you know, in my 20s, in my late 20s, I would still stay at home until I'm married. <laughs> that is just the tradition. With the pageant behind them, it's time for the girls to get down to business. It made me realize that maybe if I'm this universe, then in my country they will really take the AIDS pandemic very seriously and that there will be more awareness on it and that hopefully the HIV statistics will drop. I've been going on a little casting calls, you know, doing acting things, doing modeling things, doing print work, getting pictures done, all that big celebrity stuff that I love to do. It's nice. And though she didn't take home the Miss Universe crown, Kimberly Ann Pressler hasn't returned from Trinidad empty-handed. I definitely wanted to make top ten. I had certain goals in the competition part itself. Um, but I wanted to make as many friends as I possibly could, and I did that. Um, I'm going to keep in touch with probably about eight girls from there. And to meet eight good friends in a three-week period is very, very hard to do in a lifetime. That's it for this year's Miss Universe pageant. I had a wonderful time, and I can't wait until next year. Congratulations to the new Miss Universe, and I thank you so much for joining us. Ciao. Ciao. Ahí va, va.